JewishHistory.org presents Rabbi Beryl Wine's 5,000 Years of Jewish History. One video clip at a time. Clip number 38, The Spanish Expulsion. The expulsion decree of 1492, which drove the Jews out of Spain, affected 500,000 people. They were caught in a terrible vice, whether they should convert, whether they should leave everything. Don't forget, people were there. Their families were there for 800 years. They had businesses. They had the language. They had the customs. And just pick up and go. So they split the difference. Half the Jews converted, and half of the Jews left. Now, in Spain today, it's estimated that 80% of all Spaniards have some sort of Jewish ancestry. But over the centuries, uh, they've all become Christian. The Generalissimo Franco, the Spanish dictator in the Second World War, never handed back Jews who escaped, especially from southern France, into Spain, even though the Gestapo sent emissaries asking him to send them back to Jews so they could kill them. When others asked him why was he protecting the Jews, Franco said in a moment of candor, he said, probably under the Nuremberg Laws, I'm also Jewish, even though he was a devoted, devout, almost fanatical Roman Catholic. So the Jews are driven out of Spain, and a large Jewish population remains in Spain. Those that remained in Spain, Jews called them conversos, Jews who converted to Christianity but who had some sort of Jewishness left within them. The Spaniards called them Moranos, which was a pejorative term, meaning pigs, because the church always suspected them of being disloyal and of having their Christianity only as a front to hide their Jewishness. Many Spanish Jews escaped to Portugal next door, but in 1496, Again, the Inquisition and the King of Portugal forced the Jews out of Portugal. And therefore, these Jews, uh, who were called Sephardic Jews from Spain, they spread over the entire Mediterranean basin. Greece, the Balkans, Turkey, North Africa. Through, uh, and then later on, they even came to the Middle East, where they joined other Jews who had lived in Iraq, for instance, for centuries on end. Some of the Spanish Jews joined the Ashkenazic world. They came to Germany, even to Lithuania. And therefore, the influence of Spanish Jewry, unfelt and undefined, nevertheless was present throughout the entire Jewish world. But the entire Jewish world saw the debacle of 1492 and 1496 as perhaps the greatest tragedy that befell Jewry since the destruction of the Second Temple. Thanks for watching. I'm Beryl Wine. For more on Jewish history, go to jewishhistory.org.